Monitor displays! Ooh. <laughs> hey, do you have a Unity project or want to make your own VTubing app that has your monitors displaying inside the screen like this? Stay tuned to this video and you'll learn how to do it step by step. This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access. Uh, if you need a VPN that's fast, safe, secure, and affordable, that's usable on 10 devices, click on the link in the video description down below. It actually really helps me out. Or you could check out my Patreon. Link would also be in the link down below. If you want to know how to get started making your own VTuber app, like Project Melody, Code Miko, AI Angel, or myself, please check out my previous video that you'll see um, over, over there. To get started, you're going to be opening Unity Hub and making a new Unity project, or you can use your existing Unity project. And then just name it whatever you need to name it. And then once Unity is open, just save it and immediately close it. If you have an existing Unity project, then all you got to do is you can skip the step and then we're going to go right into the Unity project file directory. We're going to be first opening this website right here that we're going to see appearing on the screen. And um, you could download the Unity package, but I do not recommend doing that. Instead, we're going to go to the how to install instructions and we're going to be using something called the Unity scoped registries. So we're going to keep this information open and now we're going to open our project file. We're going to be going to the packages and then we're going to be opening the manifest.json. So the manifest file, we're going to right click and then we're going to open it with notepad, just like how we see on the screen. If you're not able to open it with notepad, you can change what you open it with and just make sure that you open it with notepad or notepad plus uh, plus. You could also use Visual Studio if you have that as well. In the dependencies, we're going to be copy pasting this URL right there. Make sure that you add the comma if you have it somewhere in between so that it knows to go to the next line. Then at the end, we're going to be adding the scoped registries. We're going to be adding these two things right there. You can just copy paste them from the website. If you join my Discord server, I will have a example project in a zip file if you uh, would like to take a look at it. And the links will be in the description down below. And now reopen that same Unity project. Once the Unity project is open, you should have a new pop-up like this, and then you can just press OK. And then you should see if everything's gone right in the package manager, you should now see two different things. You should see the new get package and then the, the KGDO uh, K NDI package as well. So now to get started by adding our screens in Unity. The next step we need to do while keeping Unity open is go to the NDI website. Link will be in the description down below and you're going to be downloading and installing the NDI tools. So make sure that you install and download and install NDI tools. Once you have it installed, you can open the NDI tools like I, I am doing right now. You should, you should see this green NDI icon appear in your taskbar. We're going to get started to add our screen. We're going to make a plane. So you're going to right click and add a 3D object and you're going to add a plane. And then we're just going to put it into place. Don't worry so much about the size. We can change that later. Next, we're going to be creating uh, an empty object and we're going to name this like monitor script. Here, we're going to add an, a component and search for NDI and search for NDI receiver and add it. Here, we're going to be able to select the monitor that you want to show on to in your Unity project. Now in your assets window, right click and we're going to be adding something called a render texture. Now change the render texture to be the same resolution as your monitor. So in this case, it's 2560 by 1440 or 1920 by 1080. Back on the NDI script, you're going to have it set the target texture to that brand new render texture that we just created. And now you should see the render texture in your assets. It should show what's showing on your monitor. Now we need to do one more thing. We're going to we're going to create a new material. Uh, you can name this whatever you want. You should probably name it to monitor one. And now when we select our plane, we're going to drag the new material over. And then in the shader, uh, we're going to set the texture to be the render texture. So now we should be able to see our monitor on the screen. And since we're using a 16 by nine aspect monitor, change the scaling to be equivalent to 16 by nine. So in this case, we're changing the X axis to increase uh, to be 1.6 to simulate that uh, close to 16 by nine aspect ratio. Now let's just test it out to see how it works. 
So we can see that it's showing everything that's shown on my monitor in the play mode right now. This is not really as, as fun and exciting. So let's take a look at uh, other things that we can see. So we're gonna pull, I'm gonna pull up a YouTube video. Hey, so here's a helpful YouTube channel that you can check out. And here's another video that I did on how you can make your own vanishing goals. But as you can see here in the Unity project, it's reflecting exactly everything that you see on the monitor that we selected that's sending to that new render texture that we created. Now it's ready to build or add to any other project that you might have. This is Fofamit. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions or want to talk or hang out, I do stream on Twitch four times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. And you can come and check me out there. Links will be in the description down below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. I'm in virtual reality. Whoa! It's a roller coaster. Whoa!